uh, I think it's CEO of, of CFB, basically the, the founder of CFB and hey, Mashi and, and LSG, but you know, that was cool. i would never met him before. Super nice guy. Kind of intimidating, you know. He's not tech, he's not exactly my boss, but kind of, you know, he Channel Fireball sponsored my stream, I write for them, so you know. Who's on the play? I'm on the draw. Alright, I'm all That's a close one. I mean Hmm. Let's see. I think I know what I want to do. I'm curious what chat wants to do. Do I have any plans to attend more GPs this year? I don't think so. Probably, maybe. I met John Sasso first in Brisbane at our LGS where he was playing modern and led on Chrome Mux, as in non-legal Chrome Mux, or I should come to Krakow. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Top, top. Yeah, I would top it. Like, Spreegon says bottom, but other people say top. Yeah. Yikes! Jace is actually pretty good against Burn, but obviously, had I known. He thought about that. He thought of the tech was much on the plane and was like, "How come nobody's playing Chromebox in modern?" Yeah, I wonder. That's a pretty funny story. What happened? At like what level was it? Did he get like a game loss and got to switch, or did he just drop? Search for a Skanta. How many challenger Joes did I get this weekend? Actually, I don't think I got a single challenger joke. I mean, I was referred to as a challenger a few times, but not really, like, no jokes. I guess, like, yeah, I mean, Rich Higgins was like, oh, yeah, a challenger, just, just a, you know, nine-time PT Top H Hall of Famer, blah, 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 challenger. But, I mean, Luis is also a challenger. And Lily is a challenger. Lol. Uh, this is going pretty poorly. I think I have to play that actually. Am I going to play test with Lily and LSG? I'm going to play test with Lily and maybe Depraz. Not sure what LSG's plans are, but. Uh... I mean, I'm assuming LSV is just going to probably play this was, you know, Ben, ben S, etc. Right? Some of the some of the CFB guys. Is that a MAGA hat? Yeah, close. I mean, this game's pretty over. I'm gonna get bolted here. I, need, I, I mean, I need them to have so many lands in hand. Fafa, yeah, it's a Farid hat. LSV is cured. I don't know, is he not? Pretty sure he is, right? Probably should have played the fetch in hindsight. Well, in hindsight, no, but I was, I, I, I felt like my almost only shot was hoping they had a spell, they would play into my logic knots, I would get some value out of it and slow them down a tiny bit, you know. What do you think is the best modern deck right now? If I had to guess, I would probably say Amulet or some kind of Phoenix variant. But I, I'm not too sure, honestly. Phoenix is very good. It doesn't seem like people have figured out if Monored is better than the blue-red version, though. 
bit laggy. Is that just murder being laggy? Probably. I guess I just have to click big inside wording. I wonder if I can, I mean, I'm gonna get them with spell pierce. I think it might be okay. Spell pierce and free negates might be a bit much. I could cut a cryptic, I could cut a negate. I think it's somewhat close. Just to watch you playing a proper format at last GLGL. Thanks, Troy. Thanks for the support. 14 months was a Twitch Prime sub. I'm, I'm glad. I'm happy I have an excuse to play a little modern before, uh, before the storm, I guess. Before the before having to start focusing, I'm giving myself a few days before I start going full uh, full focus on the. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do about best of ones and. I might just play like stock decks, like super stock decks during the day. On the stream, and then just direct challenge was my teammates on the side to just not give anything away. It's a pretty big deal, it's a huge tournament, so don't wanna make it easy for uh, for the, the opposition. Well, how do you feel about the rumor going around that Wizards may introduce Counterspell into Modern? Yeah, I heard that that's, that promo Modern thing that's gonna be a bunch of Modern legal cards. I haven't heard that rumor at all, but I don't pay attention to these uh, like promotional sets that much, I guess. So I honestly have no clue. It's the first time I hear actually. Uh, I haven't even really heard that. I think Counterspell would be a mistake for Modern. I mean, we're playing freaking Negates and Mana Leaks and Logic Knots, so. We got a bolt and a light up the stage. That's pretty good. What's my plan here? Do I counter the bolt or do I, I guess that makes no sense. I should try and counter the, the burn spell to play next turn. That was a good draw, I needed that. Flusterstorm and Factor Fiction are coming into Modern. Baleful Strix and Nissan Blood are not. Counterspell unconfirmed. More news later. Interesting. I think Factor Fiction might be in the gates. Coming from someone who actually plays Glimmer of Genius in Modern. Was that a PV Keep and a Jezza model? What was my opening hand? Pav Verdict? I think that was a reasonable hand against Burn. Having the one mana removal spell is super important against Burn. And uh, I like Verdict against Eidolon. Wow, they have Thoughtseize. That's not bad for me. They lost their light up the stage, and I mean, Thoughtseize is whatever. Hey, Andrea, what's up, bud? Do you have a. Uh, <coughs> you made it home without, too, too, without any delay or anything? I got pretty lucky. I didn't like have any of my flights delayed or canceled, didn't miss a connection. Where is this info coming from? Seems a bit suspect. I agree it seems suspect, all these cards, uh, but I'm assuming it's not nothing is confirmed. Who who was sharing that with us? Venox Storm. I've not seen Venox Storm in my chat before, so not sure what to make out of it. It's not great, I'm just gonna do it anyways. It's kind of awkward with Verdict in hand. But, um, yeah, just use my mana. 
case I draw something like a Jace or a Teferi. Alright, that's probably game. Plus two. Hmm. Black Leaf Cliff. Assuming I should bottom. I mean, I should top is what I meant. I guess I'll say go. But I had a Rift Ball suspended and realized that. I think plus is still fine. You know, like it is late two days. Yeah, as long as you get it. Late luggage is usually not too big of a deal. Did I double Steve my decks? I do not. I'm pretty loose with my cards. I don't own a ton of recent cards and I don't take especially good care of them. I mean, I don't like destroy them on purpose, but. Oh wow, they went face? I don't think you can go face here. I think that's pretty low percentage play. I think you're. I guess if you can't, can't get rid of the chase at all, maybe you go face, but I think it's pretty loose not to kill. Does that kill the Planeswalker? It does. I think it's pretty loose to, to do what they did, but I, I could be wrong. Not too sure what to do here. Hope they don't have some act of treason or something weird. Terror. What could they have that would completely own me? Double Searing Blaze, GG. Why not Colonnade? I don't know, in case I want to shuffle upkeep, in case I'm desperate. Kind of a loose play. I kind of want to just attack and then Verdict. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm at 13 and I have a chase and I have one card in hand. All right, I think I might just do that, honestly. Not too sure if that's the best play. Seems horrible. Really, I feel like maybe there's just nothing that killed me. Oh, I should have cast Spell Pierce. Whoops. I need basic mountains. Free. Can't be many more, right? Man, tiny reinforcement doesn't even give me life anymore. Daggers. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, well, that was dumb. Put them back in the wrong order. Alright, I think we got this. You have to be pretty optimistic to not, to not scoop in that spot. That being said... It's not completely over, I guess. It kind of is. Oops. Yeah. 
It was 100% over. Yeah, no, it is. It, it's been over for a few turns. I mean, yeah. Just counter that, make sure I don't die to Exquisite Firecraft. As it's Exquisite Firecraft is a thing, or not for long though, since I'm going to be playing, a, going to be ultimating to Fairy pretty soon. Pretty just plus to fairy. Forgot out of colonnades. I'm kind of enjoying myself, I guess. If they're not gonna scoop. <laughs> a classic. Who, who's more BM? Me? I think we've established it's usually open and that's just more BM when they just don't scoop in that spot. I'm, I'm not the one at fault here. Deck them? Eh, I'm good. That's gonna go as for flawless victory. No cards in hand. No, no permits in play. I guess it's not very efficient testing to just waste time. Burn, burn, burn. Hmm. Remand might be reasonable. But not. I was thinking flashback of the... Uh... No, that's kind of dumb. Um, hmm. Path to Exile is actually, I mean, I can't, I can't cut them. It's kind of scary to give them the mana for bumping the knights. Do they even have two mana cards? I didn't see a single two mana card. Has Absorb been? Absorb was reasonable, for sure. Do they have idol on? They didn't play a single idol on in either game. They could have Skullcrag, they could have... I mean, they've got to have something, right? But they played Light Up the Stage, they played Bump in the Night, they played Skewer the Critic, Slava Spike. They should have Eidolon, right? But I haven't seen it. I've seen literal no, no two mana spell in two games, right? I guess I'm going to cut Spell Snare. Is it possible they don't have Eidolon? There's no way, right? You... 100% you have idle on, at least after sideboard. <laughs> Big fart bob. That dude was so gold. I could cut search for a Skonti, bring in... Search is kind of nice, a bit slow though. Oof. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. Are you going to test paper with the new mulligan rule? Well, I don't know who I'm going to test modern paper with, but if I can, I will. Didn't they say anything about having the, the new mulligan rule on Magic Online soon, or did I make that up? Did I just dream that? Was it just a dream? Or reality? Wait, what? Oh. I was like, how come I drew a land if they attacked me on turn one? I literally just forgot. Uh... What should I even play first? Maybe I'll just play Colony turn one. I might regret that. They're probably going to play two spells. Huh. Hmm. Do that make any sense? Playing Call of Night turn one is nice. Make sure I can play uh, all my cards on curve after turn one, but... Also, giving them the land one turn later is somewhat of a big deal, especially when they have light up the stage. But I, I'm not sure it was uh, the greatest play ever. 
I think it's I think it's close. I think it's pretty close. There's also a world where I I never end up playing that fetch land and I just saved a one point of damage, so What a dagger. His thought sees isn't that bad. Maybe I should just let it resolve. They're gonna take time me, right? No matter what. But I'm gonna pass no matter what too. Good grief, can the see, man. Opt into spell pierce. Oh, that's probably the play. Opting first. I'm not gonna draw something better than time your reinforcement, anyways. But then, if I opt first, I don't get a. Oh, I guess it's the same thing with Goblin Guide. Hmm. The good news is they're down to. Oh no, they still have two cards. Oh yeah, that's a Goblin. Oh. Oh wow, and they're gonna get to, uh, this game is over. I need to get uh, pretty lucky here. Wow, Eidolon and Lava Spike. Well, I guess Eidolon's kind of a brick. Sorry, opponent. That's that pretty filthy. Even for me, that is pretty filthy. Let's go, Craig Wesco. <laughs> Can you believe what fell? Oh yeah, you'll make it into the Hall of Fame by not top decking. Waga Fraga, thank you so much for the Twitch friend sub. Welcome to the sewer. Appreciate the support. You can't believe what fell. You can't believe what fell. You can't. Believe what fell. So good. <laughs> oh. Alright, it's game's not completely over. They could just go off again was I mean they have they have more resources than regular monorad with these light up the stage. I had to sub after that pure skill play, wow. I like it. Not only do I get extremely lucky, but uh, I get extra subs. Top decks like that is why I've made it to a year, haha. As <laughs> that. Oh, I'm glad they do. I'm glad uh, you appreciate incredible luck, Esdot and uh, Argon Platypus. Thank you so much for the the support uh, over a year, both of you. Well, a year exactly for Esdot. A serious question. Been seeing a few memes about Wesker recently. Did something happen? No, it's so Team Jabro who streams. Uh, I think he's a bit busier right now, but he, he was streaming a bunch and 
he just, you know, came up with these uh, these stupid rhymes with players' names. And uh, I just I just uh, picked it up from his stream, and one of them is "Let's Go Craig Wesco," and then he he found out I like loved it, so he made he made one for me, and mine is so it goes like "Let's Go Craig Wesco," and mine goes "Good grief, Gab Nassif. So it's just like I think it's just because of the rhyme, basically nothing nothing else really. They have two cards in hand, so they could definitely be sandbagging a creature, but I don't think it makes too much sense to keep taking uh, damage. I think I just have to suck it up and, uh, and verdict here. Chabo's a treasure, he is. Yikes. These thoughts are, these thoughtsies have been kind of absurd. Need to maintain proper sugar daddy status. Yeah, Adam. That is uh definitely definitely uh definitely been uh been spoiling me. Thanks bud. Five dollar donation. <laughs> Alright, well Thingies. I mean, I could go double field of runes, but it makes no sense, right? They don't have they don't have bump in their graveyard. I should just kill them ASAP with colonnade. Thanks again, Adam. Showing attack with colonnade. I'm gonna rage pretty hard, and I'm gonna attack. If they have the bump in the night, we know they only have three basics. I would definitely go for the like double field of runes play, but. I don't want to make McKee's Rage. How do you think your jaunt black green matchup is? I hear a different opinion on both sides. Um, I think jaunt, I think it kind of depends on the list. I think my jaunt matchup would be pretty close with this list. Spell Pierce is probably pretty bad. Settle is settle is okay. I think I think black green might be kind of tough. I can see black green being tough. Depends on how many. Depends how many trackers they play. How many trackers? How many bobs? I would I, I wouldn't say I'd I wouldn't say it's a great matchup for blue white in the eater deck. I think black green is probably on the bottom of the list. Bottom of the decks I would like to face with blue white and jaunt is. Oh, I know stream last weekend, yeah. Took the week off to go lose some match at, at the PT. Lower than Tron. Um, current list against Tron with Snapcaster. I'm, I'm okay with my Tron matchup. Yeah, I think I'd rather play against Tron than Y Green by a decent bit. Grand Prix Toronto decklists. Let's take a let's take a quick look at the I didn't even realize that deck came in second. Is that Susuros or is just someone that picked up the deck? Or is that actually him? Hey, where are all the black green rocks? Yeah, see, free confidence and free trackers, that's pretty tough. My field of rune is annoying, quagmire is annoying, free trophies. That, that level is pretty scary. Choke in the sideboard, Fulminator Mage, ugh, Nissa. And that's just more of the same. Yeah, this is, I would, yeah, I hope I don't, oh, that's a bad matchup, I think. <laughs> it's good grief, Gab to see. Thanks, Mighty Kuma. Love it. Love the little, uh, little message too. Thanks for the support, buddy. Yeah, no. Yeah, I mean, they they weren't always on the full uh, 
like full like six slash seven dark confidence plus tracker. I think at one point they were cutting confident, and at one point they were cutting trackers. You know, but yeah, if they have the full like six seven uh, card advantage here, that's that's really scary. I know Squid Chief was playing some black green earlier. Not sure how he was doing. Ancestral Visions helps a lot. Yeah, I don't have vision in my deck. Uh, I want to upkeep path, right? Draw step, upkeep. And they could have bring him in, but then I'll have them gift. Probably just upkeep. Sometimes they want the lands anyways. Kind of have to get rid of the 2-2, two, two, the, the, the mana dudes. He went 1-3 was black green, yeah. I mean, it has some it has some bad matchups, I'm sure, but it is it is good against blue lights. Blue lights, I don't think, is a favorite. If you have Ancestral Vision and maybe five Planeswalkers, maybe it becomes a decent matchup. Someone just approached me at the airport and said that he watches your stream and he's a big fan. Really? That's funny. Is he, was he at the, just randomly or was he at the, I'm guessing he wasn't in Cleveland if he's at the airport right now, but let's guess. Why not the Versailles Vision of the Terminus? Uh, I like the instant speed with Snapcaster Mage. But I could play a mix. I used to be a big fan of Serum Vision. So one reason I I bring up a lot is that and I don't know if it's true, but I think it's a big deal, is that I, I really like Serum Visions when you played Spreading Seas. When you had like kind of proactive two drops, you know, Wall of Omens, Spreading Seas, because you go turn on Serum Visions when you don't know what you're playing against, you can pretty safely keep Spreading Seas on top. It's going to be good against almost everyone. But now the deck's like a bit more reactive and you don't have Spreading Seas or Wall of Omens, so you can also turn on Serum Vision in the dark and you don't really know what you're looking for. So it's kind of awkward. But I guess you could, you know, remand, you know, two mana counter spells, probably not a bad bet. Yikes, speaking of remand. Remand's probably gonna be good against me at some point anyways. All right, I have no clue. I think my hand is not good enough for me to just sit on the, uh, sit on J, so I'm just gonna play it. I think I'm just gonna brainstorm because I don't really know what I what they need. Condemn doesn't seem very good, and after that it doesn't really matter, I guess. I think I will bring Counterspell into Modern if they start making more some legacy cards legal. I think it would be a mistake. I think the, the 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 blue control decks are already pretty good. I'm sure there's a couple other decks that would benefit from counterspell. Yeah, I think counterspell would be a mistake. I can't imagine they would just reprint counterspell for modern in that modern set, whatever that modern set is. All right, we got we got decent value. Definitely got decent value. I'm just gonna jam to fairy and hope they don't have remand. I think they only play two remand nowadays. And as I said, remand is gonna be really good against me, pretty much no matter what. I think counterspell would be medium. People play Logic Knot. People play multiple Logic Knots. I'm playing freaking Negates and Manlakes in my main deck, and I don't know. Wait, what? 
Oh, and are just playing a pass in flames for value to like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, well, value pass in flames to try and reload. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine, like, even, like, Grixis, Death Shadow, they have this Daneful Stroke and, and Negates and their sideboard and stuff. Look at how many, like, two-mana two counter situation of counter spells people play. I mean, I don't know. There are too many matchups where you board out all your non-cryptic counterspells for literal counterspells to be broken in modern. That's just not true. I think the only matchup where counterspells really suck is humans. I think there's literally one deck where... I mean, even against burn, how much better would your burn matchup be if you didn't have to play Reman and Malik and stuff? You just have... Uh, I don't know. That is definitely scary. Hopefully their hand's not too good. When is Manly not a better counterspell against Burn? There's definitely a lot of games where counterspell or League doesn't doesn't do anything. Wait, that's from their hand? Wait, what's going on? Why do they do that in that order? Is there a point? Is there something I'm missing? Well, now they can cast Pass in Flames again, but they still need to get kind of lucky, right? Do I even... Yeah, I guess I need to negate now or else they just have Raymond. <clears throat> I'm just dead, right? If I counter Gifts, they have 2 mana, 3, 4, 5... Counter pass on flames and buy a turn. Oh. I don't think I can buy a turn. I definitely should counter the pass and flames though, I think. Why didn't I negate pass and flames? It's still on the stack. Oh, I should negate it now maybe. I don't know, maybe don't mess up their piles. I think I should have counter countered it now. I think he can win. He's just going to get a bunch of rituals, right? And then he can just recast it again. But now I'll let him now I'll let him get Reman as a good good target. All right, so I need to give one mana, two mana, three, four. So I need to give him Grape Shot and Rich and Mana Morphos, right? If I give him a ritual, he does it all over again. Yeah, I messed up. I kind of messed up big time. I was supposed to negate in response, because if you had gotten a reman, I don't know if he has a second one, but if they had gotten a reman in res then I was kind of screwed. So I got kind of lucky. If they had gotten a reman instead of the mana morphos or the grape shots, Alright, I'm gonna do it now because I don't wanna let them draw a reman or whatnot. So now I need them to not draw a ritual or mana morphos. And I get to untap. Hey Blop. No fluke, Reed Duke. <laughs> this is a red hat, it's orange. Can you can you not tell orange in the I guess they get to get rid of Teferi. Lots of hats. Apparently, hats are lucky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm at 16, they can go Pass and Flames, Ritual, Ritual, Ritual. Um, I'm not sure I'm quite dead. Should I have Teferi Minus or should I Verdict? I guess I should start by opting.
Uh. Alright, that was a great draw. Matt! Oh, man of his word. Thanks for the sub, bud. Alright. Rayman, wow. Where are you at, uh, Rayman haters? A blue and one dismiss. Don't mind if I do. Big game, Alex Hain. Not bad, not bad. Jabra would be proud. All right, am I still gonna lose? I think I might still lose here. So, eh, maybe not. I should just hard cast, right? Just hard cast elimination. Do I have one card in hand? All right, I think we win. That was pretty crazy. Pretty crazy game of magic. Oh, we're not even doing dead bad on time. I wonder if they have a second Rayman in their deck. We're about to find out, really? <laughs> he said Rayman in blue white, why Gabe? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. I think you bring in rest in peace, but you also keep all the graveyard cards because they're pretty good in the matchup. I think the fairy's probably a tiny bit clunky. And I don't know if you want two detention spheres and two verdicts, but I think you do. I think the last couple of cuts are kind of tricky. I think maybe logic not is too bad was rest in peace. He got search. Really? Isn't turn to search just so good in these games? You know what's actually kind of mediocre against them? Cryptic Command. Cryptic Command's not the best. I don't know if I should cut the fairy. Maybe I should just cut a second Cryptic Command. Minus one path, yeah. I, I don't mind path, especially with Snapcaster. Sometimes you path your own your own mage. He said he's from Uruguay. He was he was like, "Thanks for all the control content, dude." And I was like, "You're welcome. Where are you from?" He says Uruguay. He said, "Not the best place to play Magic, but what can we do?" And then I was like, "Well, at least you have Arena now and Magic Online." He's like, "Eh, I prefer Nationals to be honest." Yeah, that's fair. National this gas. Like Kozilek for a for mail. Someone was asking if we had some nasty losses against mail this afternoon. We did not. It's just a pre preemptive little dis dissuasion. It's like the nukes, you know. In case someone was thinking about sniping, getting in the queue is a was a little millstone action. Not in my house. Also, I kind of want to. I didn't get to draw that card that much in the mirror match. 
think it might be good in the mirror match. Do I just keep elimination? It's not a bad keep. If the game's going to go long... I think it was one in here and you just bought him. I think it's somewhat close. I think it's it's pretty close. I'm actually going to play a fetch land this way I get to shuffle the... Domination. Uh, I did not believe they have Blood Moon, right? I guess they could have a Blood Moon. Maybe yeah, I should fetch basic. Not seen Mill in four months. Yeah, I haven't seen Mill in forever either. But that's that's. I don't know, does, does Mill have a good matchup against any of these? I mean, Bridge is probably pretty good against the Phoenix deck, right? I think I'll play Colin H first. I don't want to tap out for elimination if, if my opponent can just cast Gifts. It's a bit scary. Is that just empty the Warrens? It kind of sucks to counter the first ritual because you don't get value. You miss me in Cleveland? Were you there this turn? How did I not... How did I miss you? I went 9-7. I won my last couple rounds, but uh, I, I had a pretty bad day too. Yeah, probably have to just use my negate. Not even sure negate's the right one to use because negate counters pieces of the puzzle. All right, I mean I have to counter the second one as well. So we think they have empty the warrens in the in hand. Still doesn't really tell me what I should do with surgical. Maybe just nothing, maybe say go, maybe main phase. Has a storm matchup, not great. I don't think I don't know if that play is good or not, but I have a lot of answers to MT. I kept in both verdicts and F2 detention sphere. And surgical's kind of I think it should be good enough to uh Stop a, a grape shot kill this turn. So hopefully I just find a sweeper was opt. You're playing the GP? Yeah, I mean I figured but I still thought you would like maybe come come in between rounds or something. Yeah, it's a good card. Yeah, I'm not sure what I could have done differently this game really. Kind of flooded out. Drew to one surgical instead of rest in peace. Rest in peace would have been nice. All right, Shawl. They bend these two. I think they just have another empty in hand. Surgical empty? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point actually. They kept Drake shot though. They're already at four. Alright, that's what I wanna do opt first. I wanna see uh why wow, you got wait they have three grave shots in hand? Oh, it's GG. Or is that like the same? Okay, I don't know what they just revealed. It doesn't matter. Actually, it does matter. <laughs> He's wondering why I opted, why I tapped out for Ob. The reason I tapped out is honestly I was going to draw a verdict to know if I had to surgical empty right now or if I should hold on to it. Maybe I'm just going to die to Graveshot this turn, though. 
And I kind of lost track with all these pieces of the puzzle. I think I think they had double grape shot in here, maybe even triple grape shot. Is cause like good against uh, Jessica control? I'm not sure. I think it might be. Well, the problem is that even if I get to surgical grape shot and that verdict for their first MT, looks like they have enough cards to like go empty and then empty again the turn after that so this game is getting really rough yeah i mean they're not gonna mess up against surgical right there's just no way He, he, t he told me in chat, he's like, at the end of the match, please t tell me what happened this turn. He was kind of confused to why I played the opt when I played it, which is kind of fair. I could definitely trim path to exile. I could see that. I kind of hate giving them the extra land anyways, but also just letting them have the dude is just not reasonable. You need to get rid of it. I mean, this, this, this game was mostly just me losing to Flood. I think my sideboard plan's pretty reasonable. The Fairy's probably... The Fairy should probably be... Not too sure. I cut one path, and I'm gonna bring in... Hmm. Cryptic Command is nice against pieces of the puzzle. I like the second Teferi, this way you're not too reactive. Yeah, I think I should have both Teferi in. What am I gonna cut? I could get greedy and cut another path. Is Condemn usually better than Oust? It's good against Phoenix, right? It's much better against Phoenix. Oust is probably better against humans, exactly. It's also good against higher decks. Hey, Mega. Um, <clears throat> alright, I need to make one cut. One shuffle, one cut. Us oh, is better against Bob, yeah, that's a big one. Some people even play four path, one condemn, one oust. I think that's reasonable. Cryptic command, maybe? Yeah, free black green deck in the last GP top eight, so I wonder how come that deck I think it's a fine deck, but I don't think it's like super good. That was that was kind of crazy. I wonder if it was like a lot of black green start with or if it was just variants. Huh. Uh, uh, turn to leak. Turn free field of runes plus up. Kind of close. What does chat think? Top or bottom? Kind of split. I think it's pretty close. I was I was I was to ferry in here and I was leaning towards top. I'm gonna top. Concede? Wow, that's aggressive. I'm not gonna concede. Do I like Terminus better? I haven't played the deck enough recently to know if I like Terminus or Verdict better. I mean, I've been liking Verdict though. I've played it for a little while now and I haven't been disappointed really. I think they're both good. Honestly, I, did, I think at the Team PT I played the Verdict version was like they have Judgment, Wrath, Settle, etc. And I was pretty happy with it. I think it's pretty close. 
Like Terminus was kind of the answer to spell clutter, right? That's kind of the one of the reasons why people started playing Terminus to dodge spell clutter, kind of. But uh, definitely have to like ritual. What the? So this is what that result, right? Encounter. Wait. I can let that resolve too, right? Am I missing something? I kind of gave a little timing tell. What if they have dispel ritual empty the warrants? That'd be kind of a This is kind of a close spot. I do have two cryptic commands and verdict in my deck. But if I play Feel of Runes, then I don't have the option of going opt into Counterspell, which I have a lot of. Ah, oh, that's really close. I think, I'm, I think I should do that, though. should leave myself the option to opt in. I don't think there's any two mirror spells I'm gonna to want to play. I guess I could draw another opt. I'm gonna bottom that. Just gonna say go. Respect the storm. I'm gonna play Snapcast for now, trying to draw into a two mana counter spell. This game's pretty scary, they could still kind of go off. They have a lot of cards in hand. I, I think I could just die this turn, but I think I just have to do that anyway. The scary part is even if I get to untap with the fairy, I still don't have much in hand. I don't have anything going on. I need to draw a rest in peace. Once you have verdict in hand, rest in peace is kind of the best card you can have. Because rest in peace kind of it can still kill you with grape shot and remand, but it's it's pretty tough. It does like any counter spell at this point is just a great Yeah, I don't think I want to attack with Cullen. Yeah, resolves. He's like, hmm. So you're saying there's a chance. Yeah, my hand's pretty bad. I don't have path for the two drop. I don't have a hard count. Deep in the tank. Not sure I have a good option. I don't think I should give them grape shots. I think that's pretty scary. So wait, what's what's best if they have Pass in Flames? I could maybe bend the two rituals and counter man more fun. Maybe Grave Shot's not that scary. Give them ritual morphos and counter morphos. I think that's reasonable too, that gives them like free mana. In the two ritual. Let's see. I want to stop them from. So if they get to, if they get to pass in flames plus have the mana to gifts again, I lose. Right? So they have four mana. They could have five mana. I think I kind of want to bend the two rituals. Actually, I think that might just give them the grape shot. But I'm. Not like, Manamorphos doesn't do that much. I think binning a Grape Shot and a Ritual is is reasonable as well. Yeah, Manamorphos is only good if they have a bear, and if they have a bear, I'll just counter it first. Yeah, definitely giving Morphos, I agree. So, Desperate Ritual and...
What's the best if you have a two mana? Grave shot, grave shot, grave shot. Uh, I think I'm just going to bid both rituals. And not give them grave shot. Piano yeah, on time. Close. Close one. That's not too, too bad for us. Them using a mana to just dig. Do I count a ritual? Free man. So that's, they already played a land. I don't think I should counter that, right? Because that's not enough for a pass in flames. They need two extra mana. Yeah. Yeah, I'll add the first one to resolve. I think I can let that resolve too. If they're like a ritual plus a two mana guy, do I lose? No, probably. Someone who plays a lot of blue, I said I should have just been the two rituals. Hmm. Well, I don't think they could really pass in flames even with the two rituals. They were like kind of a bit bottlenecked on mana. That was extremely close. That was kind of interesting. Um, kind of a decision here. I kind of want to feel everyone's because I have. So What could they have? I don't think they have anything to punish me, right? Yeah, field there on tap land. I think the tap one might be fine as well because I plan on playing an un uncounterable spell. I guess, what does unsubstantiate do? They put it back to my hand. All right, I won't be too greedy, I guess. Huh. That's an interesting one. I think you have to graveyard, right? I need to find something uh, that stops bass and flames. I need counter spells. Yeah, or rest in peace. Ah, uh, that's a good draw. It's a very good draw. It's no rest in peace, but rest in peace was probably the absolute best draw. It's a close one. I have six cards. I think I just save it maybe. Timer. I know. I think I'll be okay time premiums. I mean I guess if they're spending their turn doing that, that means they really don't have much going on. Yeah, I can I, I, I can get behind Ramian. Well, Jace eats a counter spell, which is not great for me. I think I'd probably do search, right? Alright, I think we're gonna win. I think we're gonna ultimate Teferi next turn and uh and Jace and Jace Brainstorm. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Cause it looks like their hand is really clunky. 
If the best they could have done last turn is piece of the pieces of the puzzle. Is this game free? Yeah, it's game free. I almost want to let that resolve. And just bounce the land. Did it? Cast them. Oh no, they haven't played a land. Bounce counter. I don't think it matters too much. What I do. Because they have spell snare for their counter spell. Maybe bounce counter was better. Alright, just in I wonder if I actually use. I think I use negate, right? I think the only way they get off is if they have a do. Can't see Jace. Jeez, that's. Rich typing. Nah, he he told me to tell him what was going on in the. We're talking about. I know the games with blue white are so fun. That's what I always say when people complain about modern. Just pick up a pick up blue white, maybe pick up jaunt or black green, just guy control, something that interacts and the games are pretty sweet. Oops. All right, G. Hey, Swift. Yeah, maybe they'll just give us counter spells too, and life will be extra sweet. All right, I need a quick, quick break. I'm trying to decide if I need a snack or not. Now I'm pretty full still from dinner. A couple of minutes. I was kind of joking when I was saying someone might snipe me as a was a mail deck. I guess it, it could happen. Snipe was infinity. Doesn't seem like great EV to snap a blue white player was affinity. <laughs> Maybe if I ever cut all the sturdy sounds in my sideboard. No, Verding's been pretty good. Ver like Storm is another matchup where uh where Verdict is probably much better than Terminus. 
the preferred condemn or oust. I think in the Phoenix meta, maybe condemn is. Depends. There's humans. I think oust is really good against humans. Blood crit go. Huh. Well, I guess I'm glad I have a fetch lands. Look at that. That spell pierce. Does John play Coferline Gorge? Or is that just, um... Are we gonna spell Pierce Arenian? I was gonna say, is that Dredge? Yikes! Are you here, Mike? <laughs> Mike is here. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm just... I guess that was maybe a mistake. Cause they have imp. Yeah, I'm that's pro I guess it's nice to make sure they don't have if they don't play a spell this turn, then it's pretty unlikely they have it. The did mail, alright, I think. I think I just get Hallowed Fountain and then play Search for Escanta. Am I ever gonna want to get planes? Free Cryptic to sell. Hmm. Sell is more important, but Cryptic's more likely. Sell can wait a few turns. So can cryptic. Mm. Hey, Dev Doodle, thanks for the raid. Welcome everyone. Playing a little modern. Assuming Dev Doodle was probably playing some arena. Thanks for the raid. My name's Gabe. I've uh, been playing Magic for a little while now. Had a couple decent finishes. I was almost 10 years ago. It's been a while. Should I give them the land now? Yeah, I think. When will my Simic Nexus article be up on Channel Fireball? Um, I don't think I'm gonna write a. I haven't played that deck. I want to write a kind of a report and just talk about everything that's been going on, like the Invitational. The, the, the testing, the, the the mythic championship, all of that. So I'll, I'll see. Um, Snapcaster, they have nothing going on. Yeah, I'm just gonna graveyard. And this is kind of tricky. It seems kind of greedy to. Uh, what am I worried of? They're gonna just hard cast an imp, right? They have imp in hand. Or then just hard cast in next turn. I mean, I guess they could get lucky and draw like a cathartic reunion and kind of go off. They would need exactly cathartic reunion though, and they didn't play it last turn. I would just Jace Plus. Alright. That's gonna make the case for us. Make sure they don't draw looting or reunion. Dog Carry, thank you so much for the Twitch friend sub. Welcome to the sewer. Looks like Fate Seal was the play. Winning game one against Dredge is very nice. Doesn't happen that much. Hey Harry, what did I play at the PT? I played a Salta Explorer, pretty stock list. Um, I was doing well with the deck. I only went 5-5, but I misplayed a few. Had a couple tough matchups, a couple bad draws. I think the deck is strong. Um, I might play it some at some point, just mess around, but um, yeah. I was, I was feeling good. The week leading up to the to the championship, I, I didn't play as 
as far as I would have. Logic Knot can go. Oh, Squatchief! Thanks, thanks for the hose, buddy. I guess your raid button must be broken, but uh, appreciate it. Welcome everyone, or maybe maybe welcome back for some of you. Did you uh, did you figure anything out for? Uh, did you come closer to deciding what you want to play in uh, in LA, Squid Chief? Or oh, oh, that's true. That was the Spell Pierce on the reunion game. That's why things went so poorly for our opponent. Now I remember. Oh, that was disgusting. Maybe search on the draw is a bit slow. I think like summon out summon out of purge is okay, but they're not super exciting. Maybe do something like that. I think that's reasonable. Between Mardu and Weir, what's Mardu? Oh, just. Smurf broke it? What Smurf stack? Mardu Pyro? Wow, that's a blast from the past. Alright, I don't have a hate piece in hand, but I'm gonna keep the Mulligan, and I think Timely buys you a lot of time. I'm also gonna be seeing a bunch of cards, and Rayman's not bad either. Why path out and snap in? So, I think Snap's kind of nice was Ob just to dig to rest in peace. I could definitely trim, trim some Snapcasts from Ages, I guess. I don't like Path. I don't think it's winning winning play against Dredge to just Path their dude. You give them the extra land, it doesn't slow them down enough. So, I think Path's pretty bad. You could bring in Purge, just a little speed bump, you know, it's not the worst, but I think you just want to you know, try and get their graveyard and then sweep the board or get them with seven. That's a pretty interesting spot. Or is it... I just rest in peace right away so they can't dredge. Could have like upkeep nature's claim, etc. But I mean, I'm not gonna be able to play around nature's claim. I guess I just jam it. Maybe if my hand was a bit different, I could wait. If I had a bunch of lands and a verdict, maybe you wait and you play differently. But I, I guess with this exact hand, you just want to play the rest in peace right away. Oh, Smurf broke your raid button. I don't even know what head. <laughs> yeah. So it, it always funny when you like decide between a play and another one, and then you make the one play and it just insta scoop. You're like, well, I guess. Does my deck list really have 12 one off? They're claiming my deck this afternoon had 12 one off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Only 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, yeah, because I split the glimmer and stuff. I had 12 one offs, you know. Isn't that, isn't that how people bid? Well, if they're playing Escape Shape, this hand's not very good. Yikes. Charlie the Banana Queen. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the sewer. Welcome back, right, Charlie? I feel like it's not the first time you sub. Appreciate the support, buddy. How did we win game one? It was glorious. They were on the play. They went turn two. 
we had the, the spell peers for their cathartic reunion and then their hand was kind of like not super f dude adam cheese good cheese just goes so, goes so fast good cheese is pretty expensive too Good cheese is not cheap. Not even like fancy cheese, but just like, yeah. Oh, I had a, uh, we had, we had broccoli for dinner, but not not the not a very healthy version. It was like kind of Alfredo broccoli, just bunch of garlic, bunch of cream, bunch of melted cheese with pasta. I guess about as unhealthy as a broccoli dish can can get. I guess I didn't add sugar. I guess I could be adding sugar to my to my dish somehow. H cheddar. Yeah, actually, you know what's really good? Just that you usually don't need a ton of like, just like Parmesan. I put Parmesan the other day to like grate it on pasta, like real Parmesan, and I was just like slamming it. <laughs> just, yeah. Tastes pretty good. Oh, they're playing blue. I just realized they played a bunch of blue lands. I wasn't paying attention. That might be good for me. That might mean no Titan. Well, by good, I mean not as bad. Still, still looks like I'm an extremely rough. Post a deck list. Did I not post a deck list? I updated, I definitely updated cargo a lot, right? <laughs> what are we gonna have to do to get you to play a real modern deck for London? <laughs> that's my teammate, that's Morgan. Um, I don't know, I'm allowed to play blue white if I just never lose a match. I've done pretty good the last two modern tournaments with blue white. What are we gonna be just like Team Amulet? We're just gonna have a seminar with Edgar and he's just gonna be it's gonna be like like a like a a chess master. You know, chess grandmaster, it's gonna be the five of us playing uh playing Amulet and just Edgar going from table to table telling us what to do without even like looking at the board state. Just playing the games blind for us. Is that is that what our testing is gonna be like? Jeez, that's dirty. Should I path my Snapcaster? They're probably gonna have a bolt or something. I'm not even sure what pathing Snapcaster does. Maybe I need the pressure. Maybe I need the nine turn clock or whatever. I mean, I have negate anyways. I guess I'm not in a rush. Well, oh. should have stuffed half my Snapcaster. Oh, the deck list for Broccoli Alfredo? I mean, it's nothing. Butter, broccoli in the pan, then add more butter for the garlic, and then some creme fraiche, some shredded cheese, whatever cheese you have, and some more Parmesan, I don't know. What's that? Is that like scape shift with counter spell backup? That's what it looks like. Lucky 13. Is it? Let's see. Let's find out, Ben. Not looking very lucky right now, I'm not gonna lie. Man, I'm gonna get lose that game because I didn't have they're gonna have like is it charm. If I'd path my snapcaster I might have been able to live a turn. Or remand, that works too. Well that sucks. Should have passed my Snapcaster. I think I was probably still gonna lose this game. Looks like I was in. Right. Just making sure. Just making sure they had enough mountains left. Um. Yeah, Chef Pav the Snapcaster might have been able to uh
to live another turn. I'm not too sure how to sideboard in this matchup. I'm assuming it's pretty straightforward. I'm not sure if they get anything super spicy. Well, I have a lot of dead cards. What could they have? Should I have Kozlak in my deck? Should I have the Angels? Do they have Tracker? Should I have like Stony Sounds? Maybe they have Red. I mean, they, they don't play Pack though. They're not. You, you really think they're gonna have a random Carnage Tyrant that they can't tutor for? That makes no sense. No, they don't play Titan. I don't think so. I mean, I could see Tracker, but not Tyrant. I mean, Angel might not be bad. I think I'd rather have Angels than Verdicts. How did my team do at the Mythic Championship? Not too bad, but not good. Pete Ingram went 12 and 4. We got, we, we, I think we were 15s before that tournament, and now we're in 12, which is obviously like, you know, obviously there are some teams that are better than us, but we're, we, you know, I feel like top 6, maybe top 4 if we ran really good was realistic, so this is not good. Is the tension sphere good against them? They might have something, right? I guess I should just catch all. I kind of feel like the games could just go stupid long. Yeah. From the start of my sub streak, I've grown nine inches and put on thirty pounds of muscle. Be sure to sub today. <laughs> nice, nice. And any of the proud owner of my uh, GP Lila uh, second place finishing deck, more relevant than ever. Aiden, Aiden Alcium. I wonder, I'm trying to figure out what the, is it like something in English or is it like, could be like some kind of Portuguese name? Not too sure. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the support. Appreciate it. What should I call you? That's kind of a long name. All right, apparently I'm a, I'm a screen name print. It's from a book series. Ado works. Okay. Oh, Ado. Let's call him ad nauseum. No, that's too long. Ado works. Ado sounds good. A nice flow to it. Kind of the pretty close to an ideal start having search in play turn two. They could have Rex Sage. Wrecked Sage even. That'd be so nasty. That would be my dreams down the Wow, excellent choice in uh, an emote to Canis Creep. Love it. Dude, Adam. All right. Thanks. Please. 
please donate this to a good cause. A tiny yellow hat for your new housemate. Should I get, yeah, I'll, I'll show you my new hat. I should, should I go get a yellow hat? I'll, I'll show you. Uh, for those of you who weren't here earlier. I don't know if he's gonna, uh, let me, uh. Oh. End of turn cryptic. I mean, I kind of have to. Do you think they play Jace in their deck? They could have five mana. I mean, wow, it's sick. My hand's good, but I think I just need to counter and. Maybe I'm just gonna counter and draw. And hope they're not just baiting me. Yeah. Look, look at who we found on our balcony earlier. Looks like. The pigeon is pregnant, it was like pretty fat for a pigeon and it was not moving and it was still there, so... This is our new, uh, our new resident. Jace? Could be Jace. Farsi. Hmm. I mean, I guess I have to keep, right? The good technique. Am I just gonna die with spell pierce, spell snare, and the spell in hand? Is that what's. Easy graveyard, really? I think I have to keep. Like, if they don't kill me next turn and I draw a land, it's just so good to have Cryptic plus Spell Snake plus Dispel. I mean, none of my cards do anything against Escape Shift. It's kind of my problem. I could have been and hoped to hit Negate exactly, Negate or Remand. I mean, looks like looks like Chet was right, though. Looks like a... Slaughter games. No, bring to light. Does spell pierce do anything? I mean, I can bounce all on my cryptid. On my cryptid. Yeah. All right. Looks like. Let's see if my top card was negate. This matchup's kind of tough. I feel like I've lost that matchup the last two or three times I've played it. I mean, their draw was pretty good, and our draw was... I mean, looks like it should have been good, but... Definitely a way to spend this time. That's, the, that's one of the reasons why I was down to one dispel in the first place too, and I was maxing out on the gate. It's like... Wow. Who's the genius? Who said easy, easy, easy graveyards? Oh. Wait. Oh no, they just float two blue. I was gonna say can I let it resolve and then bounce, but they just float the two blue and remand my spell. Yeah? If I'd listen to to Ruma. How many outs did I have? One mana leak, free negates. Oh, was I supposed to did they have mana up? Was I supposed to cryptic command on my turn? I feel like when they sack Tribelder, it's pretty obvious they have it. Maybe if I cryptic command on my turn, maybe that's a good play. They didn't float, it was on the stack. Wow. But does, it, does that even fizzle the... Does that even fizzle anything when you do that on the stack? Does it check at like resolution too? Fizzles five of them. Wow, really punted. We really blew it. Turn. That's 
to play. Tron's a bad matchup. Um, I think it's pretty close. I'd call myself a favorite in a matchup. Actually, I just messed up again. I should have played column eight. Mm. I'm not exactly sure. If you had won the PT, I would have unsubbed. Oh, good thing I didn't, right? Kappa, thanks, mean fanny pack. You play a lot of modern, right? What's your what's your go to go to uh, go to modern deck these days? A drowsy taxes. I think it's pretty good. Kind of the spider space version, or. A lot of cards. Not a huge fan of Detention Sphere against them. It's kind of a weirdo. This spell is also a bit sketchy. It's spelled for Nature's Claim. It's probably a bit much. Could just do a Verdict. Could just do four path. I was liking this matchup. No, I don't think the games get to the point where. Oh, well, got pretty crushed game one. That was a pretty good draw from him. I don't. I like taking, I like shocking myself in game one, but after sideboard death, I'll not see and direct us, so I don't shock myself. Thanks for playing blue light control, uh, starting to suffer from modern misery all, yeah. I'm assuming you're fairly, uh... All right, I guess I'll just play search. Hopefully nothing bad happens. That's kind of bad. Well, they're kind of bricking. Wow. That worked out. Wow. I'll lose this game. I might have to uh, reconsider it up. He's kind of greedy. No, I think he's using cryptic commands to right play. Why Stony Silence? Oh, Stony Silence is amazing against Tron. They have so many artifacts, like Star. It's the best sideboard card against Tron. Rejection is very good when you have Snapcaster as well. Rejection is very good. This damn full stroke is, you know, nice board. 
Yes, I know some players, some Tron players board out Oblivion Stone. But just shutting down, you know, map and uh, the one mana artifacts. It's a pretty big deal. I don't know, oh, natural Tron, yikes. Yeah. So I guess if they have Nature's Claim, they can float the Nature's Claim and then add counters. So maybe I should do it now. But if I do it now, I'll add them use it twice. Hopefully I'm not just legit helping them, giving them green mana. That bird. I might be. All right, so we know they have thought knots here. Just gonna bottom that. <laughs> Do I block and path myself or? I think maybe I do. I think the path might somehow save me against some a worm call engine and stuff. I guess I have another snap I need to. And my Snapcaster is not doing that much. I didn't have like nature's claim my stony silence, shoot my Snapcaster, just stone, stone horror show. Looks like their hand's pretty bad. They might have more one mana artifacts. I'm not too sure what they have actually. I'm kind of excited about that top eight race. I wish I wish there was like kind of a multi a way to do some kind of multi stream and you know have like all the streamers at the same time see like the top frame. I feel like it would be cool, I don't know if they can do that, but if they could like record the games from their side and do a little like little video of the the last few days of the race or whatever, where you just see a little recap of what in the last few hours. Alright. Close. Close, close, close. Multi Twitch, yeah. I mean, you can multi Twitch, but not everyone's going to be streaming. <laughs> I mean, I think I should try and find a counter spell or something. Hmm. Cycle. They just attack here. 15, 21, they attack for 11. I guess I'll attack. Uh. 
up to 15 and they have 6 or end the game that's scary that they could have Karn well it doesn't look like they do They draw a Tron land, and they have uh, what's his face? That's that. What could they have? That's right. Can I start attacking? I don't think so. I want to close the door to Ulamog, etc. What if I find a Teferi? I can't really cast it. Alright, I think I have to say go one more time. So Tower plus Ulamog is what I'm worried about. 